Hello children, how are you all? Children, in my previous videos you might have learned some of these concepts, right? Now, in this video, let us learn about more and less. Here, you can see a girl playing with balloons. Her name is Ruksha. Later, her friend came to her. Her name is Rita. They wanted to find out who is having more balloons. Do you know children who is having more balloons? Yes. Rita is having more balloons. Ruksha is having less balloons. How can I say this? Generally, we will be comparing two objects, based on their size, height, length, weight. Similarly, to find out who is having more balloons we compare two objects, based on its quantity. What do we call it children? Yes, we call it as quantity. Now, see the picture again. Here look at the balloons in the hands of Riksha and Rita. Do both of them have the same number of balloons? No. Rita is having more balloons, and Riksha is having less balloons. Let us practice another example. Here, I have taken some water in a glass. And, I will call this as glass 1. Now, I took another glass, filled with water. I call it as glass 2. Now, tell me children, which glass is having more water? Yes, you are right. Glass 2 is having more water. Then, what about glass 1? Yes, glass 1 is having less water. Very good children. Let us try one more example. You are able to see a boy carrying books, right? His name is Lucky. And, here is, another boy, named Sandy. He is also carrying some books. Can you tell me, who is carrying more books? Lucky or Sandy? Wow, that's great children. Lucky is carrying more books. Sandy is carrying less books. Hope now you have understood the concept of more and less. Now, here is a small task for you. Take two boxes and put some chocolates into them, such that one box should have more chocolates and the other box should have less chocolates. Come on children try it. Thank you. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. For more videos, like and subscribe our YouTube channel.